When you think of Penticton, you probably reminisce about a city between two lakes in the middle of wine country. Beautiful beaches, water sports, outdoor adventure, with world-class rock climbing and cycling. A true four seasons paradise. Plus renowned for being the host community for so many festivals and events. Yet you undoubtedly will also reminisce about its rich hockey history. From the 1955 World Champion V's. The Okanagan Hockey School being the longest continuously running hockey school in the world the BC Hockey Hall of Fame. And having one of this country's most storied junior hockey franchises. In this series, we will look at Penticton V's past, present, and into the future and go behind the scenes as the current BCHL champions fight to defend their title. This one's for you, Penn Six, and the V's are 2022 Front Page Cup champions! On the road. And in the locker room. what billet life is like, game day production and broadcast, the BCHL All-Star Game festivities, and of course, the playoffs. This and much, much more. These Nation, making hockey history. Today, we will delve into what billet life is all about. Well, a lot of thought goes into, you know, how you pick your or select your billet families and, and, and how that matches with the player. You know, it's uh, every situation isn't perfect, but, you know, as a parent myself, you know, probably the bigger thing about, you know, our, our families that they're sending, these parents are sending their, their, their 16 to 20 year old sons away, some of them great distances, and they know, they know what's going to happen on the ice. And a lot of times, um, it's away from the rink that they, they're more concerned with and they should be concerned with. It's a very, those are very, um, you know, impressionable years in, the, in their development of, of, as people and hockey players. So for us, you know, I've been here 16 years now and I have some billets that have been here as long as I have, if not longer. And we are always looking for, for new ones that are coming in and they're definitely not, uh, it's not a lucrative uh, proposition to be, you know, to bring one of our players in. Obviously, they're, we help compensate them uh, different ways, but you know, the amount these guys eat at this age, or, you know, bracket is pretty, uh, pre pretty, pretty crazy at times. So, again, you're you're getting people that want to give back to the community, want to give back to the game. Um, you know, in a lot of cases, you know, the players can hopefully add to their family experience as well. And and it's been, uh, again, it's been one of the the, the sort of the neat stories in my time here, just to see the the connection between our players and the billets, and you know, one of those stories I guess that you could share, I could share would be this past summer, you know, our 2012 team is getting induct, got inducted into the BC Hockey Hall of Fame, and when you know, I thought most of them were going to be booking hotel rooms, instead they were staying with their old billets, and that's 10 years later, so it just shows the connection that they built. Um, we've been billeting since uh, 2008, um, and I think we 
just check the list and we've uh, the two fellows we have this year, it makes it 40 hockey players have been living with us over the years. I think Eric and I have um, good family values and uh, between us we've raised a few kids and now we're raising, helping raise grandkids. And um, we're not a strict household, we're, uh, but uh, I think the kids have all flourished. That um, I, I shouldn't say flourished. Uh, I think the the hockey billets that we get, um, we've seen them become more independent. Uh, we try and teach them some home skills, and we watch the change, the maturity, and uh, I, I think it's a pat on the shoulders to them too for being very coachable in the house as well as on the ice and uh, um, I've enjoyed well I should say we've really enjoyed our time with the fellas when they're here and it's always a sad day when they leave. Well I think the one of the first things we get we do is we get to know their parents um, we include them um, we like to our house is open to them if we can. They've stayed with us. And the, the guys, you know, we give them their privacy. Um, and we're there, we're not, um, we're sort of like in our retirement year. So we're around a lot. They can't sort of miss us. And um, it's not that I'm a nosy person, but I like to hear how their day went. and and spend time with them. Shauna yeah. is a nosy person. <laughs> and uh, she probably drives the boys quite crazy because uh, I can be distant from boys and just, you know, make my little comments or whatever. But Shauna is definitely a big part of their functioning in the house. She's the one that'll drive them crazy about whether the towels have moved from the hot tub <laughs> to some place where they're not going to get damp and whatever. And the boys have to take out their garbage on Monday night because Tuesday is garbage pickup. And yeah, yeah, but she's the influence. Uh, our billet host makes us feel at home because we have a lot of family interactions with them. We eat dinner every night together. We see them a lot throughout the day. Um, they really open their homes to us and really make us feel like uh, family here. Yeah, and yeah, adding on to that too, like even they uh, they include us in their Thanksgiving dinners, Christmas events, and all of those other events that come along throughout the year. So I mean, I mean, you couldn't say too much, but a thank you to them. I mean, they're amazing people. And... Uh, my first time was three years ago uh, when I first arrived in Penticton. Um, I already lived away from home for three years prior to that uh, during high school. Um, I lived at boarding school, so I was already used to being away from home. But uh, moving out here, it was a great experience for me. I moved into a home uh, that felt like a really small family. Uh, I had a, a mom and a dad, and then there's two kids there and a bunch of dogs. So it, it was an awesome time for me. It was a great home, and it really made me feel comfortable. Yeah, my first time billeting was uh, four years ago in Lincoln, Nebraska. I mean, I was a little bit scared. It was my first time moving away from home, so it was just a big jump in something I was not too sure of and as a 17 year old kid I mean it's kind of hard to move into a different country as well so I mean I mean but they were amazing people they treated me like family right away and from every other place that I've been to from Eric and Shauna's to Scott and Lisa's place I mean everybody's been amazing and they just integrated us really well right away. They're here to um to play hockey and it carries over into the home. They're not here to get into trouble. They're here to, um, you know, relax when they're at home, have their friends over. And we would like to provide them a, a place where they can relax and have friends over and then back to hockey the next day. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we, uh, during around dinner time, we'll help dinner, help make dinner. Uh, we'll do the dishes afterwards. Uh, we'll do things like taking out the trash. Spencer will mow the lawn. Um, and then obviously taking care of our own rooms, our, the bathroom we share, keeping it clean. Yeah, basically what Frank said, just all the little things around the house. I mean, yeah, 
shoveling the driveways, doing all that stuff, moving stuff around for them, doing whatever they need to do to help set up their house. And I mean, yeah, we're always there for them. And uh, as far as chores go, they're responsible for their their rooms, their laundry, and keeping the bathroom tidy, and picking up after themselves. And I, I have no complaints. And if something's forgotten, I just have to mention it and it's done. And they want to be able to make a, a life pleasant, you know, for everybody. They're, they're, they try really hard to, to make sure we, you know, we're fine with them. And then, and then they sort of relax more and, and it's just a family after that. There is definitely a lot to balance at times, but really, uh, like we said, being away from home and living here has uh, made us feel really comfortable. Um, we're able to have, we, we both have our own room, so we're able to be alone if we need it, but we're also, we hang out a lot. Um, I think our house is kind of a spot where a lot of the team, our teammates come over and hang out. Um, and then, yeah, balancing that with hockey and expectations. It's nice to live in a home like this, to be able to get away, live on the lake here. So many different things we can do to take our mind off hockey when need be. But at the same time, um, being able to have such a great house like this helps us, you know, sleep well, eat well, and be prepared for hockey. I mean, you pretty much nailed it there, so. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'd say uh, with regards to being social away from hockey, it honestly is maybe a little tough to find friends away from hockey um, when you're so far from home because really you're here for hockey, most of your day is hockey. So the most social interactions you get are with your teammates. Um, but, but saying that, like that's most of the time you want to spend is with those guys because you make such a close bond and you all become like a band of brothers. So honestly, like I said, our house is a hangout where a lot of the teammates come over a lot. Uh, we both have girlfriends. Mine lives close to here in Kelowna. So when she's home from college, I'm able to see her quite often. Um, yeah. Yeah, for me, yeah, my girlfriend lives back home. So, I mean, I have to make time to talk to her once in a while and FaceTime when I get the opportunity to. I mean, I've, this year I kind of dedicated myself to hanging out with the boys all the time and because it's my last final run for it. And I mean, these guys, I spent two years with them and I mean, I can't thank them more than I have already. But I mean, these guys are like brothers to me and I mean, I'm going to remember these guys for the rest of my life and I can't thank them enough for anything. It's, it's exciting, September. We've always said, you know, um, whoever they choose for our house. And so when the boys arrive, it's um, introductions are, are, are done. And uh, by the time they get unpacked and put, put stuff away, and, um, and then we, the first couple of meals, it's, everything settles down and it's wonderful. It's a big house and we like having family around. And I think for people that, you know, do it for the first time and or when people ask us well you know where what about your privacy in that well it all works out it all works out and i think um having um having family around is good it's good for everybody and we treat our boys like our the the, the v's that have lived with us like family it's, a, it's the toughest time it's yeah. the toughest time. Say goodbye. Um, um, our billets this year, Frank is from New York and Spencer is from Ontario. So we'll try and follow the boys as best we can. It's been great having Frank here because he can let us know, Spencer and Frank have let us know, you know, where the other guys are and what they're up to do, what they're doing. And um, even the ones that have made it to the NHL, they've kept us posted and we try and watch those games as well so we try and follow their careers um we're uh but uh we've always asked our the boys that are living with us um you know and they're they follow all of these so it's good they keep us in, in touch and then some of them we um you know get invited to weddings and get togethers and well, I would advise them not to be too worried um, that they're coming to a, a beautiful place. And um, 
I think the, the billet program that the V's has is very supportive. Um, if there's ever any issues, um, and there are very few, but if you have any questions, um, there's a really good communication with the billet coordinator or the coaches, as a matter of fact. And um, I think the boys, that the young men or the boys that come here um, really do enjoy. We haven't had one billet say that they didn't like the program or that they didn't like being here. Um, they've I all would, had... I would say if they have that opportunity, leap at it. Leap, yeah. I was lucky enough to be at this or and have a kid that it's it's at this level of hockey. Penticton is just a wonderful place to come to, to be a part of the uh, entire hockey regime. I mean, we get over 3,000 people for our games in a town of 30,000. That's one-tenth of the population coming out for hockey. That's, to me, that's unbelievable. A lot of people have asked us about uh, well, what's it like being a billet parent? And it's, there's not much difference if, you know, unless you haven't had boys in your life. Um, they're a wonderful group of kids and um, young men, and uh, they're, 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 you know, I, I, I've been, as Eric said, we've been blessed to have them. And this time of the year, you sort of, you know, there's not many more days left having the boys here, but uh, we can look back to the day, to the day they arrived and and say, you know, we've done a good job. You know, they have and we have, yeah. If you're maybe new to junior hockey, it could be scary, but um, everything I've seen and I've dealt with personally has all been unbelievable experiences where you're able to grow with a family so far from home. Maybe there's different uh, cultures or whatnot in the house, but I think you learn to love it and you really love to enjoy the experience. Uh, backing on that, if you're scared to go and try billeting and try going into a different league or trying something new for the first time you ought to know that there's going to be a group of 23 guys in that locker room that are going to be with you each step of the way and i mean they're going through the same things too and they've done it in the past as well so they give you experience or the experience of what they've done at their old billet houses and how you can integrate that into your life and how it will work at your house as well yeah, so we, you know, we have had a few billets over the last four years. Um, you know, we know as parents of, of hockey players and I myself who went and moved away and lived with the billet family how important it is. So um, we were happy to, to help families and help kids uh, when they move away from home. And it's, it's been great. We currently have uh, Jackson Newendike. I actually know, we know their family. We, we have been friends before Jackson came here, but we've had other players over the years as well and uh, enjoyed every one of them. They're all different. Um, but they've been fun, they've been great to have. Coming here, uh, he was, he had gone through those growing pains of being away from home um, and, the, and the people here of Penticton, the community feel and the, the Billet family has been amazing. Um, I played with uh, Scott Niedemeyer in uh, New Jersey. His wife and my wife are friends and uh, they were gracious enough to take in our son who, who has lived with them for the last uh, year and a half. So, uh, I mean, you couldn't ask for a better transition uh, for your kid and they've treated him like uh, he was their own. So we're, we're very happy. Um, I'm used to it now, but uh... I remember my first year, I was a little bit, a little bit nervous, and I'd get homesick a few times. But uh, just like the culture around here, and um, how like the guys on the team just kind of took me in, and uh, now it's part of my life. And uh, it's, it's, I miss my family a little bit, but it's awesome to be a part of a, a good hockey team. And we have two sons that left home to come play hockey in the BCHL. Um, our youngest son came to Penticton when he was just uh, 15 years old during the COVID year and moved away from home just before his 16th birthday, which is hard to let your son go as a parent. Um, it definitely tugs at the heartstrings 
Um, what we've had, he has had such a beautiful experience living with the families that he's lived with here in Penticton, our older son also. Um, I can't say enough for the families who they've lived with yeah. and the, the, the meals and the thoughtfulness um, of having a second set of parents really. Well, it's a, it's a great question. I think a lot of people from the outside will look and say, are, are you scared about not having your family values instilled on those really important formative years? And hopefully we've done a good job up to the point they depart our home, but we're in contact with them every day. We watch every game. Um, I think it's really vital to the kids to be able to kind of have their own life and their own experiences. And you have to understand that this community is very tight knit these uh, billets have been filtered by the, uh, the town. They're tried and true. Uh, I actually think it's a real positive. Um, they learn from the billets. They become close to them. It is a second family, as Veronica said. And, you know, in a word, no. Um, it, it's a concern going in, but you feel like you almost have to take the training wheels off at some point. And we have had nothing but great experiences. They've been respectful, responsible. They're friends, they're parents. Um, to our child, um, to our children, and um, honestly, I, I think it's a really rich experience that they're better off from when they go on to the next phase of their life. I, I think our family values are reinforced by the families our children have lived with in uh, Penticton and in the BCHL. I, we do call our son every day, and sometimes he's like, why are you calling me mom? And I'll say, because I just don't want you to forget that you have parents at home also. Um, it's been such a positive experience. Like one of our sons got in a little fender bender and the billet dad was there in 10 minutes um, to be a dad to him and help him. So I, I, I feel really comfortable with the people that our sons have lived with here. It's been excellent. I actually think it, it does give them perspective. Uh, they hear maybe the same message, maybe a slightly older message from a different set of folks that have great experience and, and their own kind of, they have our kids' interests in mind. So I, I, we have to have a bond with them even before you meet them because you know the fun that you share and, and the joy that you have having your kid go from a boy to a man is, is a big deal and they're a huge part of it. So you can't help but have a, a very tight relationship, but just on a personal level, you know, we've just been lucky enough to have unbelievable people. They're funny, they're caring, um, they're smart, they're, they're the type of people you want your, your boys to be around. It, the family values get reinforced, but sometimes I think it might be easier for the billet families to instill our values because they are just the teeniest bit removed from your children. Like we love our children too much sometimes. So like the um, uh, hard love or like the standards maybe get better reinforced than if you're being soft mom, I might be guilty. I don't know. It's, it's hard because I miss him, but it's what he wants and he's happy. Uh, living away from home, it's, it's unique. Right, you know, me personally, I, I moved away from home at 16, um, and I've, I've been all over the country, and the continent for that matter. Um, so it, as a younger player moving away, it, it makes you grow up fast. You have to learn to, to do certain things on your own and kind of experience that level of maturity from an early age. Um, and now living in Penticton away from home, it's, it's an awesome experience. You know, in Detroit, there's, there's no mountains. There's no scenery like we have here. So it, it's really cool to experience something. That no one else in your family, none of your friends, no one like that's gonna get experience too. Yeah, no, I would say it's it's very similar to living at home. Obviously, you know, you, you feel like you're part of a family, um, but you have to have that level of respect, right? You're living in someone else's house and you have to respect the rules and their privacy and all that kinds of stuff. So it's just understanding, you know, what to do and what not to do and respecting their, their wishes.